Hello and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Avon and in this episode we are going to do oil. We see that our plastic here is holding back our red circuits construction and we need a lot of them. We are going to go into the blue chips soon but for that we are going to need a lot more greens and a lot more reds. But first of all, to increase oil, we are going to need more refineries and we can make those in machines now. So let's go find a machine we can use to make refineries. Now let's see, let's add the blue machines here. In the last episode, we did set up um, the machine construction that's extremely slow right now because of red circuits so we might as well use some of this for that now i'm going to limit this chest to 50 because we aren't using too many speed modules right now and i'm going to bring a stack of these with me now let's see to make it we need lots of materials I'm going to steal the stone from a chest here because we don't really need that money. So I'm going to set it up between here because we have, I believe, all the materials we need. So let's do that. Let's see. Refinery. We need stone sorted, pipe and gears, greens and steel. Yes, this will be a nice location. And there we go. Now let's see. We also need somewhere to keep the refineries. And I'm going to make one more chest here to, um, to put the stone brick. <laughs> there we go. Now we are making refineries. I'm going to limit this a tiny bit. Not that it's really needed, because it will automatically stop when we are out of stone anyway. I'm also going to do the research for explosives. When we get um, sulfur now, we can uh, make cliff explosives. And even though I don't really like using them, I am going to use them this playthrough to make uh, it a bit easier when it comes to the boss. But in the meantime, let's see what we can make. We can do mining productivity. Would be nice. This one would be nice as well. Do we have all the military we can? We do. I'm going to get. Let's see. I'm going to get the explosives. We are most likely going to get a few researches while we do this. Now. It's working, it's working, and it's green, and it's working. Let's see. I'm going to go get the chemical plants, because when we set up more oil refining now, we are going to need some proper cracking, and we are going to need a lot of them to make um, sulfur, anyway. Sulfur batteries, sulfuric acid, and all that stuff. Let's see, do we have enough pipe? It looks like we do. I'm going to get rid of these electric poles. Those go neatly into this oven. Now, this one is out of resources. That's that's quite nice, because we can uh, clean up the bus after a while with that. Now, let's see, how many did we make so far? Nine, okay. Yeah, let's go get those as well and start the chain in the the proper order, I guess. That's ten of them. I'm only going to add seven of them, I think. So we have eight altogether because of the um, happy ratio, the uh, eight one seven thing for... Um, Eight refineries, one heavy to to light oil, and 
seven light oil to petroleum cracking. Now let's see. To expand this, I'm going to, we need water. Water is going to be the um, normal pipe here, I see. And petroleum are going to be the one out. So two out for this and one out for this. One space in between, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And once we get uh, builder bots, this is going to be a lot more peaceful or easy because we can copy paste and the building bots will build them for us. Well, let's see, I'm going to get the explosives as well. That's a very cheap research, so it's finished way before we need, need it anyway now. And let's see. Uh, a pipe for the water. There, and then we fill to connect. Now, every time I do this, I have a tendency to zoom quite far in to make my um, placement a bit more, um, a bit more exact. But that means I also have a tendency to not always see the big picture. Now let's see, and we do the same on this side. We need the out ones here, so. I no heavy, heavy light petroleum, heavy light petroleum. And this is a very nice step by step pattern. And it's going to be so nice to have all the oil in the world. This is the part of the lazy playthrough people have said I should use the extra crafts on so I'm quite happy we didn't need that. So far the oil's been uh, reasonably good until now where we are lacking all of it except uh, the light oil but once we set up cracking for that that's going to be lacking as well. Now why are we not working over here. I'm going to check that everything's working before we move on to make sure I'm missing this one. Nice. Now, how are we doing on crude? We're doing well, everything is connected, everything is safe with turrets. And these are working as intended now. To remove the modules and go green. guess this is strictly not needed but I want to anyway because uh, it's better to add more machines to the chain right now I feel. Oh, I am going to remove the whole uh, solid fuel. I only set that up at the beginning there to get um, to get fuel for the tank and I do have uh, a full stack of that now. Now we need, let's see, if we build it here, we are going to have to tear down some piping. And light to petroleum. This fits nicely. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's nice to set up this properly, I guess, because if not, the oil is going to stop when uh, the tanks, the light oil tanks fill up. And we don't want our oil production to stop, at least not when we actually need it now. Now let's see. This is the correct input. These are providing electricity. We need the 
normal pipes to connect. Everything is connected at this end. And we just need to connect this end. Oh, let's see, how do we do this? We are going to do them two by two like this. Um, I'm going to extend it there in case we uh, add more to this later. And like this. This now, products finished nine because we don't have water. Now, the water is coming from up top here, okay, and we disconnected it. I see. So let's connect it like that. This, I think that should connect it to everything again. Yeah, it did, it did. Now let's see, this one is not doing anything because we don't have heavy oil. This one should be working uh, fast now. They, well, not, not faster than usual, but they should be working at all times. Going to use the efficiency modules as well. Now let's see. Do we have efficiency in these? Yeah, missing a few. Okay, petroleum is going up fast now. Light all should be steady or go down. Um, these are not protected right now, so going to add protection to this as well. I'm not going to wall it in now because now they can die as much as they want. It's just the initial one we need to be really careful with and he's done his job beautifully. Yeah, 4,800 cycles, that's a lot of oil. Now, we are also going to set up the um, the um, sulfuric acid and batteries. So I'm going to start by doing the batteries, I think. So I'm getting rid of these. That removed the power for all of this, okay. Looks a bit better, and we now for the batteries we are going to need uh, iron and copper. We are also going to need iron for um, for uh, let's see the sulfuric acid. Now oh, we can turn this down. Actually, we don't need this anymore probably don't need any of this, but I'm going to keep it there anyway, because it looks so nice in the middle of the bus. Now let's see, I'm not going to do too much to this. I'm going to split it a bit so we have, uh, so we have stuff on all um, rows, because it makes it a bit easier to see everything. And then I'm going to finish the bus later when uh, we get robots and and uh, we can um, just blueprint like this and it actually gets built. Looking good. So this will need to be changed when we get that far. But for now we are going to do stuff above that here. What we're going to do is we are going to extract iron and um, copper. Now, why do we not have iron? Because we need more incoming. So I'm going to connect this 
let's see how do we connect this the iron is going here not there so I'm going to let's see, like this keeping the power pole going to split it a bit beautiful beautiful and for now it won't matter if we don't get that much because it's going to even out a bit by itself so we need I'm going to make one belt with both of the materials here so I'm going to merge them here there now did I remove the power from everything in the base now let's see let's move this one down like that and the tunnel the tunnel and the tunnel this looks nice i like this and the batteries let's see the batteries will have to go on the outside so I'm going to build it a bit further out like this and if the uh, iron and copper comes through there we can have it like this now oh, this is nice I'm going to make 10 of the battery making machines here we probably won't need 10 because we aren't doing anything massive like uh, accumulating and stuff, but it doesn't hurt to have a tiny bit extra. This looks very nice. Okay, so batteries. We need in in and in and in for the batteries on the other side we are going to put in the sulfuric acid and we are going to have the battery out uh, battery out inserters I'm going to stop this here because I don't know if we are ever going to expand this I'm going to pull this back here then I'm going to split this off because we only need iron for the next one I guess I should have or could have gotten a separate belt for that but I think it will be fine like this because we don't need that much throughput for this I'm going to make uh, two stations I'm going to need one more chemical plant for that, so I'm getting it at once. I'm going to make two of the sulfuric acid stations. And I'm going to do it with uh, not optimal ratios, but with, uh, I guess, good enough ratios or something like that. I'm going to make uh, sulfur in two of them and and just directly insert into the sulfuric acid machines. So we don't need the space here, I think. So I'm going to use that for this. And like this, that's one. Separating by two so we can see it very clearly. So silver and sulfuric acid there now these need water all of them do but we have a lot of water we have it here so I'm going to I'm going to line that up this way yeah that looks good we have water coming. Mm. Do I like this? 
I don't. Nope. I'm going to change it to up here. And there we are. Now let's see, how do we do this? This is going to be a bit Freeze two and then one. Because the thing in the middle just needs um, water, it just doesn't need petroleum. So this one is here. Yeah, that's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> Don't want to mix up stuff in the pipes. Now, this one has water and this one has water. Okay. I'm going to bring it this way. Nice. It's going to be really nice to have this uh, done to get to get um, Sulfuric acid. I should have placed the inserters before I placed power poles, but let's see, let's see. It's fine. Now we just need iron for these. That's here. Now one problem I've seen by doing it this way is that it's very hard to expand the red circuits, but that's okay. I can move that or make another bigger one for red circuits somewhere else. I think, um, I think oil is going to be, it, it's better to use this whole area for oil or oil materials, I guess. Now let's see, we need inserters. I don't have any fast ones. We are also doing really well on our belts. We have a lot. Now we probably don't need, probably don't need, um, yellow stuff anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get um, blue instead. That's nice. Our inventory is full. That's easily solvable by a temporary chest we can fill with crap. Like that. Soon we are going to have um, have uh, lots and lots of um, robots delivering stuff to us. Maybe not lots and lots, but enough so we don't have to go shopping all the time like this. I do have a tendency to to forget stuff when building. Now, we are missing the liquids here. I'm going to do it like this. And I'm going to let it follow the belt because, yeah, that's better. It takes a bit less space that way. Now, let's see, like this. And like this. Why are you not crafting? Because inserters there and there. Now you're crafting. Happily plodding along, spitting out the sulfuric acid. 
on this corner, I'm going to do it like that. Okay. And one of these, so we get it up as well. One, two, two, and two. One, same here, two, and two. That's nice. They have everything they need now. So we just need to extract the batteries. Oh yes. Ah, oh, that looks nice. We have batteries and do we want them on the bus? I'm guessing we do. So this one is for blues. Oh, it's going to be hard to fit them on the bus actually. Because in uh, my beautiful spaghettiness, I built everything a tiny bit too close. For I'm going to build it as a fifth. Now let's see. Why did you get attacked? Because you are a radar and biters don't like radars. Now let's see. Yeah, I'm going to make a fifth belt if I can uh, manage that. I'm going to cross it a bit further in in case we need a few more makers of the batteries. And this part out like that. Now let's see. Need. power and we are out of belts okay i'm going to finish this up with one two this is the blues and this is the batteries i need to be very careful so i don't accidentally merge stuff now i've done that before And yes, I do know it's a waste to have these on a blue belt, but I wanted to follow my thought through on this. Let's see. Now we have cliff explosives, but they require explosives and we haven't made those yet. I'm not sure how much I'm going to make of it either, but I'm going to look into that. Coal, sulfur and water. We do have a lot of coal, at least. Yeah. Well, a lot would probably be a bit of an overstatement, but enough. Now, let's get belts. We don't have room for belts. I picked up too much ammo, way too much ammo. Let's see, you can go there. And you can go there. Now then, we have batteries and we have sulfuric acid, which we want to bus as well. We can bus that on the side here a bit further out. And Come to think of it, I kind of want the explosives right away because um, because that's what I want to do next is expand the bus. We have uh, a lot of machines or factories to build further down with um, blue circuits and uh, robots, roboports and so on. So sulfur, coal, and water. That's not 
a very difficult craft. So I'm going I'm just going to make one on the side here, I think. Let's bring the coal belt down so we can see what we are working with. Yeah, that's the wrong belt. That's some very speedy coal going on there. Okay, and we get the coal out here. The reason I'm doing it like this is because this is the between field, those two tiles, and I like to use those for stuff like this. So let's see. Sulfur is only is only uh, oil products. Explosives are only coal and the sulfur and water. So I'm going to make a tiny array here. Let's see here, here. Is it okay here? Yes. Okay, you make explosives and you make sulfur. Now, first of all, we need water. I'm stopping my oil expansion here. This might be a very bad idea. He said and kept building because I want this going now. It's not the first time I've done stuff that's not a very bright idea, but it's it's working because because it will let me have the stuff right now. Oh, let's see. Okay, you are making sulfur. We are handling the sulfur and we just need the coal. Now this is going to be boxed explosives because the cliff explosives, where are those? There we are. They need grenades and barrels and so I'm going to manually move these down when it's needed. I'm not going to bother connecting everything up here because it would take too long. I just wanted to get some explosives crafting now. I might even tear this down afterwards. Because, like, this thing will just keep working and it, even if it's slow and stuff, it will make more than enough. So, that's it. We have batteries and we have sulfuric acid. And we have explosive, we have expanded everything, everything is somewhat green. I'm going to put a few more modules in everything. To keep uh, the biters happy. Let's do that here as well. Very nice. And we have increased our uh, we have uh, increased our production of uh, red circuits by quite a lot this episode. That's very nice. Now, we are green as well. That's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.